Hello everyone and welcome back to the City of Selkirk's Cultural Art Workshop Series and today we will be doing Easter egg decorating. Um, so to start off, um, these are some of the supplies that will be in your kit. Not all of them will be supplied like the eggs and this whisk here, um, but these are just uh, things that you should prep in order to do egg decorating. Um, so to start with egg decorating, um, there's a couple things we can do. If you want to keep your eggs uh, for longer than a short period of time, what we will go over is a blowing technique for your eggs. Um, if you didn't want to keep them for a long time, you can hard boil your eggs for 15 minutes um, prior and then you can do all this egg decorating. Um, so I will start and show you how to blow out an egg. You're going to want to start and prep your table with napkins just in case you break an egg. So you're going to start with putting a hole in the bottom, not as pointy end of your egg. Just like that. And you're going to want to push the pin all the way into the center of the egg just to break the membrane of the egg. And then you're going to do uh, the same technique on the top of the egg. Just like that. Now you're going to want to use your skewer stick and you're going to want to make both of these holes a little larger. The bottom hole should be larger than the top just so all of the inside of the egg can come out nicely. And just be very careful because you don't want to break your egg. And the same with the top. Now it doesn't matter what side you blow from, so whatever is the larger hole, you're gonna wanna put it at the bottom though. Clean off your egg. And then you're just gonna wanna blow, but just be very careful. Once you have your finished empty egg, a good trick to do is put it on a baking sheet and put it in your oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. That will completely dry the inside of your egg out and then you can decorate the eggs. So let's go over some of the items that are in your package supplied to you by the City of Selkirk. Uh, so you are going to have squeeze bottles with all of these paint colors. So this should be black, white, yellow, purple, pink, and blue. You also are going to have a sponge and a paintbrush to put the paint onto your eggs. You are also going to have a pack of food coloring to dye your water. And you will have electrical tape so we can create the spiral shape of the spiral eggs. And you will also have skewer sticks and pins to poke the membrane of your egg. Um, so to start off, we are going to start with the galaxy egg. And the galaxy egg um, just incorporates using paint and a painting technique to make it look like a starry night. Um, so how we're going to start is with your uh, paintbrush that is given to you, you are going to paint the entire egg with black Hold it by the ends of the egg so you don't get as much paint on your fingers. If you are taking the eggs out of the oven and using them that way, just be careful because they are going to be very hot. So I would let them cool down for at least five minutes. And you are going to let your black paint dry before you put on any of the other colors. Once your egg is fully dry, uh, we are going to use our sponge and we are going to be um, dabbing these colors onto our egg. Um, so the premise of this activity is to make it look like a galaxy. So what we're going to be using is use each four corners of the sponge for each color so they don't get uh, intertwined. And we're going to start with the darkest color, which is the dark blue. And you're just going to dab it on your egg, just in any pattern, giving space between each color. Like that. Then you can take your purple and just do it beside or anywhere. It's really up to you what you would like your egg to look like. Um, and they're all gonna look different. You don't wanna cover the black up completely because you still wanna see it as uh, the night sky. Using the sponge, uh, it makes it uh, have a more mosaic look to it and it's more blended together. And your pink. And 
and then you're gonna wanna use your yellow um, as the smallest portion of this, and you're gonna wanna kinda use it as a highlight. So you're gonna wanna just use it lightly in the center of the colors. You can use either side of your sponge. I'm use, using the green side just because I used the other side for all the other colors, and you don't wanna mix up too many of your colors. Now what I'd like to do is using this clean um, middle part of the sponge, I just like to tap along the egg just to take excess paint off and to make it more blended. Um, next you're gonna wanna take your other paintbrush and you are going to want to dip it into the white paint. Um, not too much paint because we don't want it going everywhere, so maybe dip it on the side of your plate. But then you're going to take your egg and your uh, paintbrush and you're going to use it as a flicking motion. So this is going to cause um, the white parts of this egg and it's supposed to look like stars. So make sure you do it over your paper towel so you don't get any paint anywhere. And you're just going to want to flip it onto your egg so it looks like stars. If you want to make it more shiny, you can also use uh, clear lacquer and spray the eggs as well, but we don't have this in this kit and they just look beautiful the way they are. So the second egg that we will be making um, is our ombre salt egg. And to do that, we are going to be applying electrical tape and then using an ombre effect with dyeing with water. So I've already prepped my egg and I've already blown it out. Um, and just remember, if you want the middle of the egg completely dry, just put it into your oven uh, for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. So to start, uh, we are going to uh, cut our electrical tape. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to take a strip of electrical tape and you're going to cut it in half and you're going to apply it to your egg. Um, so since uh, we have emptied our egg, there is going to be a hole in the top and the bottom. And if we put it into the water, it will just fill up with water. So what we need to do is tape, take our egg. What we need to do is take our tape and apply it over the hole of the egg on both sides. Um, this will prevent any water from getting inside of your egg when we do the dyeing. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to pull this electrical tape tight. Make sure there's no bumps, and you're just gonna wrap it all the way around your egg in a swirl pattern. Take your time, you don't wanna crack your egg because it is empty, so it is delicate. When you get to the top or the bottom of your egg, you're gonna wanna make sure that you cover this hole as well with the tape so that your water doesn't get inside. And you're just gonna wanna snip the excess of your tape. Now go over your tape and just gently press it down. Make sure all of the tape is sticking to your egg because if it does come off when it's in the water, it won't uh, formally make the swirl shape like you were intending. Next, we're gonna prep our water. So we have two cups of water. You just fill them about a quarter of the way and in your kit, you should have four colors of dye, blue, green, pink, and purple. 
And uh, for this activity, uh, you can use all the colors, but we're just going to do two colors. So I'm gonna choose blue and I'm gonna choose purple. Um, so the more uh, dye you put into your water, the darker the color is gonna be. So I'm just gonna use two or three um, drops of this color. And I'm gonna use the same amount for the purple. You're going to want to give it a mix and make sure that all the color is diluted into your water. Now for this activity, um, when you are putting the egg into the water, you can either use a spoon or you can use a whisk or you can just use your fingers to dip it. Um, but I'm going to use a whisk and then I'm just going to hold the top down. Um, this way it's less messy and you don't get your fingers so dirty. So you're going to put your egg into your whisk if you decide to use a whisk. If you're using a spoon, just cradle the egg with your spoon. And then you are going to dip it into your water. So I'm going to start with the blue one and I am going to put it down. Um, for this one, uh, you just want to hold the whole egg down into the water um, and just pull it out when it is fully dyed. This should take about two minutes. Once you've dipped it into your blue color, you're going to want to take it and dip only half into the other color that you have the choice. This will cause an ombre effect on your egg and then uh, you will see the distinct colors in your egg. When your eggs are complete, you're going to want to take it out and place it onto your paper towel. And gently pat drying your egg, you're going to want to maybe roll it or pat it to get the excess water and dye off. Be very gentle because your eggs are very, very delicate. Once that is done, I would um, advise you to wait for them to dry completely before taking the tape off, just so nothing runs. Once it is dry, you're gonna take off your tape, slowly, making sure not to crack anything. and then drying off any excess water that you have. And there you go, an ombre swirl egg. You can use this technique and uh, use like a weaving pattern or use polka dots or anything like that. And you can repeat and use this for a whole carton of eggs and let your creativity run wild. <laughs>